How did it happen? I really don't know. I lost my hearing. And I trace it back when I was a young man working in Africa and we were harvesting different animals as part of our job, part of the research. We even harvested ostrich. It's kind of chewy. This is what I track it back to, our vehicle Grump. We call it Old Grump because it was a noisy vehicle banging around and we had to drive it and shoot from inside the truck because there's hyena out there. And I know it sounds cruel, but um, this was our job. But can you imagine the noise of that rifle going off when we were sitting inside that truck? It was deafening. Our ears would ring each night when we went back to our huts. Of course, the few rock concerts I went to, those didn't help either. And one day, I was losing my hearing. And my pup, who was no longer young, was losing hers too. So at least the two of us were gradually going deaf at the same time. Now to understand hearing, we, it's good to look at the ear. Sound waves or decibels are going to come and be trapped by the concha. And they're kind of funneled inwards to this external auditory canal or meatus. And this is where we produce wax. Some people think wax is bad. You know, they're trying to dig it out. But wax has all kinds of antimicrobial properties. And, and you want that stuff. Uh, in fact, people that swim too much get swimmer's ear. They lose their wax. And their poor tympanum uh, will ache. So leave that wax alone. If you get a buildup, sometimes just chewing something tough. The working of the jaw will loosen it. Okay, we've left the outer ear, and now we're to the middle ear. Here we have three bones, malleus, incus, and stapes. I always think of it as my inner sound, malleus, incus, stapes. So these are the two front compartments of the ear, the outer and the middle. And this is where we're going to have conductive hearing loss. I wish that's what I had. This is generally treatable. Okay, it's like earwax buildup, infection, maybe some fluid from a you know, respiratory infection, punctured eardrum, which, which sounds terrible, but it's really not because it'll heal. Osteosclerosis is a complication of the bone growth here. So yeah, that one can be a problem. But what I have is sensorineural, which here's the big word here, and that is in the cochlea, this snail-looking structure. We're now in the inner ear deep within the ear. There's are semicircular canals. This is kind of keep you balanced uh, so you know if you're standing or sitting or laying down. But in the cochlea are these tiny uh, nerve cells and they become twisted. Generally what I have is noise induced. But some medications or chemicals can cause this too. Now here's the eustachian tube which is that's just going to drain some of the fluids out of the middle ear. Now when you're a child you know this tube's kind of like more horizontal. That's why kids get tons of ear infections. But as the jaw uh, lengthens, those infections tend to go away. Now, in terms of decibels that cause destruction, decibel was named after Alexander Graham Bell. Take a look at this, all right? So, at 40, you know, we're dealing with actually some, some fairly uh, serious noise, but nothing damaging till we get right around 100 decibels. And that's where we get things like gas mower. Food blender is up there pretty high. But down here, these if these are uh, conducted long enough and frequently enough, even these can contribute to some hearing loss. Of course, when you get up this high, you're in trouble. This is what I wish I would have done, is I wish I had avoided, like if I'm making something in the blender, take a few steps back or uh, run it and leave the room if I have to and avoid some of the loud uh, internal combustion engines, especially the lawnmower, Weed eaters, you know, a vacuum cleaner, right around 70, not so bad. I have a recommendation. Now I carry these. Now I don't necessarily use this brand, but I like the clear ones because I don't want to look like a dork. And so if I know I'm going to be in a noisy environment, I just pop these in and they're reusable. And they even have a case. I, I attach these to my keys. So don't be like me. Don't one day wonder, where did my hearing go?